Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me using new product on the market or new to me. So let's just get started. Okay, so I'm going to go in and do my brows because I have this new Benefit Brow Contour Pro Pen. I think this is so freaking cute. It's so nostalgic. I remember sitting for hours just clicking this pen. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the lighter shade. And then what you got to do is twist. The only problem I see with this pen is it doesn't have a spoolie and how do you refill it when you're done with one shade? It's super creamy. It's just gliding on my brow. I'm actually going to switch to the darker shade. I can see that this product uh, could be very convenient because it's like four pencils in one. It's not a bad product. I just wonder how long it'll last on me because it seems very creamy compared to waxy, which I like the waxy um, eyebrow pencils. I'm going to use the definer shade. The only downside is that you have to take a brush to blend it out. And the Define shade isn't blending out too well. It's a little cakey. Here's the before and here's the after. It's not bad, but it's a little bit more work than I would like. I honestly think this product is okay. Uh, maybe it's because it's my first time using it, but I still prefer my NYX Micro Brow, brow Pencil. I just have more control um, compared to this one. This one has such a thick bend to it. Okay, the palette I'm using isn't new, but it is new to me. This is the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. Yeah. Very expensive palette. I'm gonna use the shade Sinai. Oh my gosh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's just like this orangey brown shade. I put that all over my lid. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Terra and put that in my outer corners. I like how easy the shadows are blending. It's a very nice formula. So I think I want to keep my lids matte today, so no shimmer. I'm going to use the shade Bermuda. Bermuda? And it's a like a peachy nude shade. Actually, I like. I think I want to use a Natasha Denona top coat to add like a little bit of something there. This is the crystal top coat in the shade bronze. This is what it looks like. Super gorgeous. It's like a sheer coat of glitter. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's so pretty in real life. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyeliner off camera and I'll come back and show you my lashes. So I found this brand called Lash Kitty and it's what I'm wearing on my eyelashes right now. A little dramatic for some people, but I think they're really pretty. Okay, while that is drying up, I'm priming my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I love this, it's very hydrating. Oh, this pimple literally hurts so bad. I'm kind of mad because I'm like, really? When I need a film, my skin has been acting up. Um, it usually, I usually don't have acne. I don't know what's going on. The downside to this is I have to use like three pumps um, to cover up my whole face because it is kind of like a lotion consistency. 
for my foundation, I'll be using the Makeup Forever HD Stick, my favorite foundation stick ever. I heard the Hourglass one is good, but I just love this one so much that I keep rebuying this. This is in the shade 117 or Y225. I just love foundation sticks so much because they're just so convenient. I haven't worn makeup in a very, very long time. Because honestly, I just go to work early in the morning. Uh, I mean, it's not too early, but I just rather sleep than do makeup. But I miss makeup, so I'm probably gonna start waking up early now. So I'm actually really excited for the next product. Uh, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer in the shade 3. It's a full coverage, long lasting anti dark circle correcting concealer. That's a lot of claims. This is the packaging. It's just so gorgeous and luxurious and also it has the shade right in the back and you can actually see how much product you're using and if you're running out. This reminds me a lot of the Maybelline Age Rewind. Hopefully this is a shade for me. She doesn't have a huge shade selection. I do like the applicator. I don't know about full coverage because I am wearing foundation. But it looks like it's pretty good coverage. I think I'm gonna like this concealer. It actually looks really good under the eyes. And it's blending out very nicely as well too. I would say this is like a medium coverage. Not so much full, like the shape tape. It looks a little luminous. So far I do like this, I'm just gonna have to keep using it to see how it works with my skin. So next I'm gonna be testing out this new Beauty Blender Power Pocket Puff. It's a dual sided powder puff. So you deposit powder with this pink side and touch up using the tan side. It says that you can target contouring with the narrow tip and with this narrow tip I feel like you can get into those small little crevices and also if you're a working makeup artist or if you're just retouching up your face and you don't want to lay your hand on your face this is a great product. Switch the elastic to this side or switch it to this side. Alright, I'm going to deposit my hourglass powder under my eyes with the powder puff. Ooh, it's very soft under the eye. And now, going back to the tan side and sweeping that powder away. Um, I feel like this would be good for touch-ups, um, but so far it's just, yeah. Alright, now for bronzer. If you watch my favorites video, I'm using the Jouer Bronzer Duo again. I'm going to take the large shade and put it where I contour. Just love this. It just gives such a natural look. A natural sun-kissed look. It doesn't look muddy or too orangey, and the formula is amazing. It blends right into the skin. Now going in with the darker shade and putting that on top of where I put the lighter shade. I think that this is great for cleaning up contour. This is just gets that sharp edge. For blush, I'm using the Essence Satin Blush in the shade Satin Coral. Super pretty quarterly pink shade. Oh! I put a lot on what I Put a little bit too much, but it's okay because this blush does fade throughout the day. I 
For my highlight, I've been using this quite a lot. It's uh, the collab with ColourPop and Kathleen Lights on the cusp. It's just a very pretty golden highlight, but not too golden uh, because I am pretty pale. And I'm just gonna use this Morphe brush. It has a little bit of glitter in it, but I don't mind because it's so gorgeous. It just melts right into the skin. Color pop. I love your products. It's like I'm glowing from within kind of look. And you could build it up to make it look more poppin', but I just keep it a little subtle. And then I'm gonna take a pencil brush and put that right on top of my nose. Since I don't contour my nose, I just like to highlight it. And let's do a little bit in the inner corner because I'm so obsessed with this highlight. I highly recommend this. You guys need it. I want to add some eyeshadow underneath my eyes because I feel like it, it needs it. I'm going with that first shade I use for my transition and just smoke it out on the lash line. And then I'm going to go in with a kind of a funner shade. Um, this shade right here, it is Hanjin. And though I don't put mascara on my lower lash line because I literally have like three hairs. Alright, I'm going to use ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in Zuma, my favorite. I love the Ultra Blotted formula. If you guys haven't tried it, you have to. It literally feels like nothing on your lips. And I'm going to add some gloss to this. I'm using the new Fenty Beauty Diamond Milk Gloss. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. It's kind of like the gloss bomb, but kind of like a clearer version. Now we're going to lock it all in with the Morphe Continuous setting mist so that is it for this video um, I hope you guys enjoyed me trying these products out let me know if you tried these products out and your thoughts about them and I will see you in my next video